Hello, Popcorn Kid Crew. How are you doing today? I have a wonderful story to share with you today. It's called The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Lee, and the illustrations are by Robert Lawson. Have you ever heard of Ferdinand? Ferdinand is a sweet little bull who does not follow the stereotypes of other bulls. I want to see if you can relate to this. Sometimes we're all different from how people feel about us. Sometimes we just don't have the same characteristics that people put on us. We're different. And more than often, it's in a good way. Hey crew, did you all confirm that you are the greatest today? Let me check in and see. Let me hear you say I'm the greatest. I am the greatest. You are the greatest. Yes, you are. Tell yourself that every single day because Miss V is going to check in and make sure you did it. I'm the greatest. Ferdinand is the greatest. Hope you love this story. So adorable. How's it going, guys? Is everything good? Such a good story. I hope everybody's having a good day. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. They're out there having a good time together. But not Ferdinand. Well, I wonder why. It's okay. Watch and see. It's really okay. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. It's a nice thing to do. Smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Nice and cool. In the shade, enjoying all that beautiful shade. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Look at Ferdinand. And he's watching all his friends play and butt heads. Well, what would you like to do? Would you like to butt heads with your friends, or would you like to sit in the shade and smell flowers? Either way is fine. I think I would like to sit in the shade and smell flowers with a glass of iced tea or lemonade. Oh, speaking of honey. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Look at Mama right there. Oh, it's gonna be all right, Mama. She's worried about her baby. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. Mm -mm. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. It's okay to do that. Mama's just worried about her little baby. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was understanding of him, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. So Mama was happy. You see Ferdinand? Look at him. Look at Ferdinand. And this is Mama. 
Mama right here. Mama's happy. I think my mama would be happy too. Sometimes it's okay to hang out and sit under a tree and enjoy the view and just be quiet sometimes and just be alone. Nothing's wrong with that. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. Oh, look at Ferdinand. Look at all those muscles. Look at his horn. Ferdinand has, Ferdinand is big now. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day long. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. But they wanted most of all to be picked to fight at the bull fights in Madrid. There's a fight coming up. You see the post? Look at all the bulls looking at the post. There's a fight, it says bull fight at the stadium in Madrid. That's gonna be a big deal in this story. Do you like this story so far? Let me know. Let Ms. V know if you like this story. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. Even as a big bull, he did that when he was a little bull. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest and fastest and roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Look at that. Well, we all are wearing funny hats. I have on a funny hat. They have on funny hats. I like all of them, do you? They're all funny hats. All of the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping. So the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and that they would pick them. Look at them. They're running around showing the men that they're very strong. They want to go to that stadium in Madrid. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So what do you think he did? Hey guys, what did Ferdinand do? He went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He already said, they're not gonna choose me. So I'm gonna go sit in the shade and enjoy myself. Oh, y'all, guess what happened? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass, In the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Y'all, look! Look at the bumble. Look at the bumblebee's eye. It's looking up. And that's Ferdinand. That's the bumblebee. Bumblebee's on a little flower. Uh oh. Can you tell what's going to happen? Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Oh my goodness. Look at Ferdinand's face. Oh no. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting and button and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. That little bee right there, that little bee stung him. Where you sit down, because he was going to know where that is. Oh, I know that hurt. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Lord have mercy. Look, 
Look at the guys up here. We found our bull. Look at Ferdinand. Look at that little bee right there. All of this because he wanted to go sit in the shade from a teeny little bee. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. Oh, they're taking Ferdinand away. Taking him away to the stadium. I wonder if Ferdinand knows what's getting ready to happen. What does Ferdinand's mother even think about that? That's probably sad. Taking her baby away in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. Look at everybody celebrating. Look at the parade down there. People hanging out windows and everything. People on the roofs. They're all celebrating. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They're waving flags that say Ferdinand. Hey, do you all remember what Ferdinand likes to smell? All the ladies had flowers in their hair, so Ferdinand liked that. They had a parade into the bull ring. Look at him. Da 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 da! A parade. Chicken ring, celebrate. They have on all of their special clothes and their hats. He's playing a horn right here. Everybody's getting ready for the bullfight. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like some popcorn? Would you like some? Put it right here. Okay. When you're ready for it, you know you can have some, okay? Because we share the popcorn cake. We share. First came the bandoleros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Well, I would think that would make him mad if someone stuck a pin in you. Look at, look at the pins. Yes, that would make him mad. Ooh, to stick a pin in the Oh my goodness. Next came the picadors, who rode skinny horses, and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Wow. I've never been to one of these, but I don't know. I've, I don't know. I don't know. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Look at the matador. You know, students, this is a tradition and in other places, people do different things. So this is what takes place there. And this is a tradition that happens every year. Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? It was Ferdinand. So they have special places where bullfights take place. Does Ferdinand look like he's ready to come out? He looks a little nervous, doesn't he? They're ready for him to come out and fight. Who can predict? What's Ferdinand gonna do, you guys? What's he gonna do? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the bandoleros were afraid of him, and all the picadors were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Well, what I don't understand is, why are they all afraid? There's more of them, and they have they have spears, and they have different tools to poke the bull. Why are they afraid? 
Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Look at the crowd. Look at everybody. Look at the crowd. Look. Look at Ferdinand. Right here. Oh boy, what happened? But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. Oh, look at him. Can you imagine that? People thought he was going to come out. Ferdinand the Fierce was going to come out and butt and snort and stick with his horns and he came down and sat in the middle. Ferdinand surprised everybody. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled and the bandoleros were mad and the picadors were madder and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and his sword. He cried. Ooh, he looks, look at him. He looks mad. Why is he so mad? He doesn't have to be mad. So they had to, they had to take Ferdinand home. Oh no. Look, remember that cart? They took Ferdinand home in the same cart they brought him in. Oh. And for all I know, he is sitting there under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. And he is very, very happy. The end. I love this story. I love this story because Ferdinand did exactly what he wanted. And what he wanted was, wasn't bad at all. He just wanted to sit and smell the flowers and then have peace and enjoy his day. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, Popcorn Kid Crew, let me know if you enjoyed this story. Please subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends about our crew. Share this site. Share this channel with your friends and family. Ms. V is here for you, and I will have another story up for you for Taco Tuesday, because Taco Tuesday is coming. I wish you all love, and I wish you all the best day ever. You know what I say all the time when we get ready to go. Peace and love. Send you kisses, and I'll see you soon. Peace.